Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. And I just want to say I, I, I appreciate you listening to these videos and I hope they're a source of help and inspiration, encouragement to you. Um, I hope you receive a blessing from this and as you are blessed, you will pass that blessing on to other people. Maybe a topic is is provided that would help someone else. Uh, you know, I was thinking that uh, I'm... I think since I started this uh, during the pandemic, uh, the McLeods from our church said you need to do something to uh, to reach people um, during the pandemic, and um, so this is what what I came up with, and and um, and I think since the pandemic, I, I haven't missed a day. You know, there's over a thousand videos, some sermons, some. Uh, some devotionals, some now with the uh, pastor's Bible class, over over a thousand uh, videos. So there's topics there that I hope that you glean from, and that uh, or you know of others that have gleaned from. Or and, and if there's a topic that you would want addressed, please let me know of that, and I'll try to address that as well, as 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 time permits. Today we want to talk about. The priority of the Bible in our life. Now, I realize that I'm probably talking to the choir. The very fact that you're listening to this video shows that you have a, an earnest desire to know God through His Word. We get in trouble when we step outside of God's Word. When we try to use our own reasoning uh, to, uh, to overcome a problem or a situation... Uh, when we start gleaning information from other people that may or may not value the Bible as much as we do, that they the the idea of their flesh that they their their advices are also always tainted in some way because if it's not Bible centric in 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 what they what they tell you, so our first choice whenever encountering anything um, questioning and other things, we go to the Bible. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 4.4, 4, He said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. How important uh, is the Bible according to Jesus? It's more important than bread. It's more important than our physical nourishment. We need every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Everything that he said is what you and I should feast on every day. We should spend time in God's Word every day. Shame on us that we spend an entire day, um, 24 hours, uh, 168 hours out of the week, and we refuse to give any time to God. How do we do that? We do that by spending time in God's Word every day every day. It may be only 20 minutes or it may be an, uh, 40 minutes. It may be um, that you you know use these videos as well as uh, maybe some scripture reading and whatever else to help you to grow in your uh, in your relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus said that if 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 uh, if uh, you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Right? That idea that that abiding in Christ, to dwelling in Christ, to allowing. Uh, uh, the Word of God to dwell in us richly so that we bring forth fruit. We gain the wisdom of God. These days aren't getting any easier. You know, it's just, it's not going to get any easier. Uh, the battle lines are being drawn. You and I are going to be called on to make a decision. Whether we're going to follow Christ or we're going to cave into the world. Listen, your pastor is 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 struggling with decisions to be made. Your your um, your people in your church are struggling with decisions that must be made because these are life and death decisions. And it's easy on this side of the problem to say, "Yeah, I'm going to stand for Christ." But the fact is, if we're not prepared spiritually to make the right decisions, we're going to fall. We're going to fall. How important is the Bible? Jesus said 
that man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You think about, you ever see a, a, uh, a vet that's kind of feeding a little bird that's lost its mother and, a, and that little bird has his mouth open and, and the, the vet has his tweezers and he's dropping little, little, little pieces of food in that little bird's mouth. What a great picture of you and I. That as we, we, we open the word of God, we have our mouths open. We have our hearts open, ready to devour what God has for us that day. Amen. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.